Welcome. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this example. So we want to find the area of the triangle with the vertices A, B, and the origin. So let's let's take a look at this and draw it. So here's the origin. Let's suppose that. And we want to create a vector this way to A, which has the coordinate 1, 3, 0. And we're going to create another vector to B, the point B, which has the coordinate negative 1, 4, 1. So this will be the vector from the origin to A. This will be the vector from the origin to B. So let's find them first, and then we'll find the area of the triangle. So the vector from A to B will have the components. So we know the origin contains uh, 0, 0, 0. Those are the coordinates. So we will do uh, components of A minus the origin. So we'll have 1, 3, and 0. And the vector from the origin to B is going to have the component negative 1, 4, and 1. Now, we're going to do cross product of these two vectors because we know that the a magnitude of the cross product of two vectors gives us the area of a parallelogram. Now, since we want the area of a triangle, we simply take that and divide by two. So if I take the magnitude of vector OA cross OB, we get the area of a parallelogram. Now, if you take that and divide by two, you get the area of a triangle. So that's what we want for this particular example. So let's do the cross product and then we take the magnitude of that vector. So uh, here's how we're going to do the cross product. So OA cross OB is going to be the determinant of this matrix. So we're gonna set up the three by three matrix. First row, we're gonna have the i, j, and k. Then the next row, we're gonna fill in the components of the vector OA, one, three, zero. In the last column, we're going to fill in negative one, four, one component of the vector OB. Now here for, for the first component, we kind of hide these two rows and columns. We get a two by two determinant of this matrix. So you'll have the uh, i component will have the component of three times one minus four times zero. So that will just be three minus now the j component, again, you're going to uh, hide its row and column. So you're gonna hide these right here. You get a two by two matrix, find the determinant of that. So one times one, that'll give us one minus zero. So that will just be one. Plus now for the k component, we do the same thing. We're going to uh, hide these rows and columns. We get a two by two matrix, find the determinant of that. So that'll be four times one, that's four, minus three times negative one, that's positive three, which will give us seven. So this is our vector uh, perpendicular to both of these vectors. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and find the magnitude of this vector. So the area of this triangle, it's gonna be one half, half times the square root of, so we're taking the magnitude of this vector right here. So we're gonna um, do three squared plus negative one squared plus seven squared. And then this will give us one half times the square root of nine plus one plus 49. And then this will give you 59 under the square root. So we'll have square root of 59 divided by two. So that will be the area of this triangle. I hope this helps. Take care.